Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jay and today I'm going to be talking about the field of E was week six matchup against the Cleveland Browns. Before I do anything, I'm going to like this talk about my experience at Lincoln Financial Field. Give you my review and take on the Eagles game from television to the actual show that being there at the game. Uh, let's just say I was late. <laughs> I didn't expect to be a lot of traffic to be there, but getting to Philadelphia for where I live is like 200 miles away, so it's a long drive. Me and my family went for our, about four hours there, plus traffic. Didn't get to the game because we got to Philadelphia with no trouble, but getting to the game, parking, you know, a lot of traffic. It was a lot of Cabulation, all that stuff going on. I eventually had to get there, get find a spot. About however, I missed the first half of the game, so I got up to my seats. You got good seats. You can see the whole field, see everything going on. I seen the second half. I seen what would happen. A couple, of, you know, field goals. A couple of injuries I saw. Did see get the, the go ahead touchdown. I was like, surprised to see what the Browns did, but I found out what happened on while watching the highlights. What happened during the first half and second half of the game. So my view of it, it was good. I didn't check getting food. Uh, we watched the whole second half. By the time I did do anything, I went to the sh after the after the game. I got to the shop. I went and got me a new hat, the Go Birds hat, and the Eagles mini helmet. You can see right here, like so, the mini helmet, and their free uh, program. Got the free program. Yeah, this is, I uh, uh, see the see uh, Brandon Graham for the first time, uh, and it, plus his 200th game. So, I also got to see Davey uh, Cooper Eugene playing corner. Uh, they did a good job. Overall, but the score reflected, people say it should have been more of a blow up, which I can understand their frustration and stuff. I didn't see what happened with Sirion. I just know later on what he did in the first half, but I'll get to that in a second. But I, my rate, my experience with Philadelphia, late Lincoln Financial Field, I heard the, the, uh, the sound system was great. Got a nice breeze, got a good shade where I was sitting up in the high, and I wouldn't say, it was kind of, I wouldn't say nosebleed, but it was, you could see everything, it was beautiful, the city is beautiful, uh, everything you could see, this is being parked to your left, uh, a lot of casino pens in Pittsburgh, Philadelphia, that behind it, it was beautiful, I parked by Wells Fargo Center, <laughs> that's how far it was, that's how bad it was parking, but I would, like I said, run no way back, it will be more prepared next time I go, Looking forward to that, but my overall experience, I give it eight out of ten. Like I said, I didn't try no food, I ain't getting no food. By the time I got there, second half is about ready. To, the second half is going to start. We went, got our seats, and watched the whole thing. Watched the whole second half. Like I said, eight out of ten. But next time, I'll be more prepared. I was going to go check out uh, uh, Pat's and Gino's steaks. You know, King steaks. News that, but I couldn't do that. Either that parking was completely full. I couldn't find a place to park. Oh, so we went straight home after that. So stopped at a couple of rest stops. I'd like to apologize to one user that didn't understand me. They called me. I do apologize. Saying I stopped the rest stop. It's like a little out day. We're getting out, stretch our legs, and go and use the bathroom. So then eventually made a couple of stops to get gas. So it was a great experience. I would do it again in a heartbeat, but we're going to do a little more better. We're going to leave a little more earlier or maybe leave a day ahead, stay at, maybe stay at a hotel, stay overnight and go to the game. So Miss Kelsey's just seen some people down there. I was looking forward to seeing some, but it's all good. Eight out of 10. I really enjoyed it. Like I said, the only thing that's bad was the traffic getting to the game. But maybe next time, I'll, maybe next time we'll be more prepared. We'll get there a little more earlier or a day early. It just depends. So that was my experience in Lincoln Financial Field. Let's talk about the game. U.S. win 20 to 12, 16 over the Browns. Uh, you could say this should be more of a blah than what I expected, but a win's a win. I'll take that. They have some things they need to clean up. I don't know what the identity of the team is. Jalen Hurts did not turn the ball, which is good. They kind of stopped Saquon Barkley, you know, times. I know Kane Gainwell got some yards. Hurts ran a couple of times. Uh, uh, the backup tight end did very well. Welcome back, A.J. Brown. Welcome back, Devontae Smith. They got touchdowns in their games, I've seen. Uh, yeah, defense did its job. I mean, they only hold the Browns to, like, 
couple of field goals, like three field goals, and the only time they get, did get any points was a blocked field goal. So I give my cruise to them. They did just they. Browns didn't move the football, but the Eagles did not give up any points, which is a touchdown, which is good. Which is good. I was surprised. But the Eagles, you know, lose, winning by 2016 to win. Uh, Nick Sirian, the only thing I ask you, Nick Sirian, is you to do do not respond to the fans. They say fire you, stuff like that. If you want the fans to give the fans response, third down. Get the fans fired up on third down. Get them, hey, we need your guys' help. Give us help. Give us our guys a boost, you know. Get loud. That's the only thing I say to the fans. Hey, give us help. Give us, make it loud for us. Don't, you know, they don't add fuel to the fire because now they're going to make get after you even more since you're kind of on the hot seat right now as it is now being three and two. So, uh, yeah, I... It's my thoughts on I say players of the game. AJ Brown, Devontae Smith were my players of the game. Jay Hurts did have some rushing yards and two touchdowns. He did get sacked once, which is, you know, you expect that. You expect the quarterback might get sacked, but uh, overall, they did well. They did some things they need to fix up. I mean, only 10 points in the first half. Browns had 10 points because of, yeah, one field goal and a block field goal attempt by the Eagles return for a touchdown, tied it up. So. And the U.S. answered back with a field goal themselves. The Browns answered back with a field goal themselves. Tied the game. Devontae Smith caught forty some yard pass. But how he got it? But it was a drag. I think it was a drag. The corners behind, but how the backup tie in the, the Browns court? They were kind of like right there. They right man. He had to stop. Like whoa. And he like stopped. And then they made Devontae wide. I mean, he just took it to the house. Uh, the big surprise with me when. The play that finished it off was seeing AJ's Brown catch. That catch that, that pretty much Brown's color timeout and last time I know that was it. So alright. The big blunder of the game, I think, is Quinlan Mitchell getting he had an interception. If it was over CJ Grunz and Grunz getting these away, you could tell he was frustrated with that. Seeing the highlights. So let's talk. Let's get into the the, math, the stats of the game and the scoring and all that stuff. Uh he goes three hundred 72 yards total offense, five penalties of the game, 40 yards. Eagles had 28 minutes and 33 seconds of all. They need more time of possession. Browns, 244 total yards, seven penalties, 55 on the penalty yards, three, one minutes, 27 seconds of time of possession. Uh, Deshaun Watson, 16 for 23, uh, 768 yards, no touchdowns, no picks. Jalen Hurt, 16 for 25, 264. Two touchdowns, no interception. He had a good day. He had a good day. He only got sacked once. He didn't, like I said, didn't fumble the ball, didn't throw any interceptions. It was a plus. He did good. He did uh, a lot of running. A lot of running. They, I knew Cleveland did a lot of running the ball, and they were being effective with their play call and moving the ball down the field, but no touchdowns. Strong eight carries, 43 yards. Four men, 10 carries, 31 yards. Watching uh, four Four carries, 17 yards. Four, four, two carries, 14 yards. Tillman, one carry for negative five. Barkley, 18 carries, 47 yards. Hurt, excuse me, Hurts. They get Barkley more carries. Uh, for Hurts, 14 carries, 33 yards. Gainwell, three carries, 23 yards. I see he broke the 19 yard run. I like that. Uh, said the B was going to be able to go up to that. Dotson, one carry, 13 yards. Uh, Cooper, four catches for 42 yards. Strong, two catches, 35 yards. Jerry G caught one for 35. He was by himself. The Doku caught five for 31. Foreman, two for 16. Darren, one for six. Eden Moore, one for three. Uh, AJ Brown caught 16 for 116 yards. Touchdown. Kyle Couture. It's four catches, 67 yards. He got one for the longest one. was 34. I've seen on the highlights. Devontae Smith won three catches, 30, 64 yards. Touchdown. The one with the big one was a 45 yard reception. I see he just he caught and he was gone. And one catch for Dotson for 10 yards and take one bar and two for seven. Okay, going to scoring summary. Of the game, 
Uh, Jake Kelly hit a 49 yard field goal, made a 3 0 in the second quarter. AJ Brown caught a 22 yard pass from Jalen Hurts, made a 10 0. It's, you know, Hawkins, 43 yard field goal, made a 10 3 uh, block. Block uh, field goal uh, by former Eagle Ronnie McLeod made it 10 10 at halftime. Eagles later on the third quarter. Jake Elliott made 13 10 by hitting a 44 yard field goal uh, later on in the fourth quarter. Um, DeAndre Hopkins, 49 field goal. I mean, Hopkins with 49 field goal made it 13 13. Uh, the Browns did miss one. I do like to say so myself as well. Eagles had blocks. And, both so right there's points right there. Devontae Smith caught a 40. Uh, caught pass Perkins to the house, 45 yards, 20 to 13. Which surprised me here when I saw this. What surprised me here was they decided to kick three, po three points instead of going for it. It was fourth down. They were close to the red zone. They, were, they had a couple of penalties that backed them up. The last time they were going to go for on fourth down, they got penalized and they decided to kick three points. I don't know. They were trying to hope they, their time much work. Help them get the ball and have another shot winning the game or going outfield, kicking the field, uh, getting pulled, go downfield, getting the game winning touchdown. But they decided to kick the three, made it 16, which is kind of like a head stretch. I'm like doing this on the side, like they're like that. Like, really? I'm tired. They kick three. So that's a problem. The Eagles uh, got first downs, burn all three timeouts, and they end the game with a kneel down. So. Yeah, I mean, it's like kind of a head stretch because you know you need a touchdown. You know you need to get back in. You're only down by seven, and it's a head stretch for me. So, unless you're thinking your defense can make a stop, then you get a chance, but didn't happen. Yeah, so let me see. Um, defense size the stats here. I like the punt by man. I saw he punted him inside. Good punt inside the... 10. I did see a couple sacks in the game. Uh, Eagles had 19 first downs to the Browns 14. Eagles were a better team on third down, could be getting five for third, converting five times for four, five out of 14. We were 35%. They did a better job on third down, I do say. Uh, Eagles two for two on fourth down. Browns were three for 12 on third down. So Eagles did have a total of 100. Total, let me see, rushing 116 to the Browns 100. He was like I said, 332 yards passing. Going to the defensive side, Ronnie McLeod, eight tackles combined all together. Uh, he did have the field goal, block field goal return for a touchdown. Harris with seven tackles combined, three assisted, four tackles. Oshikum, or I can't pronounce it. He did have the sack, seven tackles combined. Um, Dot B with six, tackle Bush with six. News went five miles. Gary with four tackles. They did a good job. Contain. He did have the block field goal. He's the one that started him, and Marty McCall took it to the house. Uh, War with three tackles. Hurst with three tackles. Spit with three tackles. Emerson with two. Bell with two. Helmets with one. Hall. Ukunora with one. I hope I'm saying his name right. Going to the Eagle side, Dean. The Kobe Utah side, I did see he missed one. He should have that back. Uh, poor tackle. Had him stop. Zach Bond with eight. See, so Jones with six. Cooper Jean had six tackles and a half sack. Ran with five tackles. Sweat with a sack. And no one was going to the sack. So we got some pressure. I got some. Get some sacks on Deshaun Watson. Get some pressure to the quarterback. Jordan Davis with three tackles. Uh, Quaylon Mitchell with three tackles. Could have had one of those. It was the first teammate running into him and stuff. Reed Blanchard with three. Uh, Bryce Hub with a half sack. <coughs> While he gets one, you know. Have, you know, uh, But it's help. Isaiah Rogers with two tackles. Keely Ringo with two tackles. Jalen Carr with a sack. Anyway, Max with a tackle. Milton was a half sack. We Booker with a half sack. Do like to say prayers to you up. Uh, I know um, Jordan, my out I got her. I, he got injured with a hamstring injury. Hope he gets better. I was saying with uh, CJ, uh, with a uh, big play slay. Uh, also, I see uh, Eli Rogers got hurt, but he came back in the game. So I hope they are okay. They're not too serious. I know it. Uh, with my auto's injury, it's a hamstring. It's going to be some pride. I don't know how many weeks for a hamstring, four or six, but hopefully he gets better and we get to see him again soon later on in the season. 
So overall, I enjoyed my experience. Eight out of ten at Lincoln Financial Field. I enjoyed it when I hear they got to hear, do the fight song. I also like the fans there I was with. Um, I don't know who what two the one guy saying two thirty nine. I have no idea what that means. They say I'm saying two thirty nine, two thirty nine. That's like a that's like an area code or something. I don't know or some special number. Movie channel only to high five some of those guys as well. Yeah, most likely drunk, but hey, it Paul drama up for swearing and stuff. It's all good. She's used to it and stuff like that. So my nephew was chewing all too, getting some pictures of. Also, knows a lot of planes are coming in for landing too. So airport's not too far away from the field as well. I like to say I wish I could see meet some also some fans like E Rock, uh, Savannah Ross, Lauren Rossi, uh, Kelsey Kelgan, and all that stuff. All of them. Seen some of the fans I saw on post too. So I wish I could meet. So hopefully next time when I go there, maybe a, maybe a year or two, who knows? I see some money up. So looking forward to going there, seeing it live, getting allowed to that, seeing here in the uh, seeing the fireworks, seeing the banners, seeing you know, getting more pictures and stuff. Hopefully get this get the chance to get maybe get some food and all that stuff and get some shop the one down below i didn't see it till i was leaving I was like dang and stuff uh, there's some things i i did get the good the stuff from upstairs so i do see so myself it's a beautiful city beautiful place i enjoyed it so like i said eight out of ten the only reason i didn't give the full 10 because of the traffic traffic and parking that's about it but overall i enjoyed my experience i can't wait to get back there and watch the full game you know like do like another one o'clock game stuff like that so who knows we'll have to wait and see me out go to a night game that's gonna be the up the discussion we'll have to wait and see what how that's gonna look it makes it not too cold it makes it a little bit nice i did get a nice breeze i did get a nice breeze that wind came it's like woof but you're like you're high up so you're high up uh, we did get nice view it's good scene so we'll have to wait we'll have to discuss with the family and see what happens i'm looking forward to it so hope you enjoyed my video hope you enjoyed my stats and comments like i said nick Sirianni, don't talk to the fans only talk to the fans to say hey get us get up me a, give them the, give our guys a boost get loud for us don't talk back to them just say get them it's like hey we need you guys come on get get with us because right now you're just a lightning rod your your seats getting a lot warmer because how this season's been going unless you turn change things around unless you explode so we'll wait and see what happens so hope you enjoy uh give me a like on this video give me comments tell me what you think if you're at the game tell me what your overall experience was um smash that subscribe button turn on notification I always like to say thank you to all my subscribers for subscribing. And that's about how I'll see you next time. So take care, stay safe, stay humble, be a blessing, and go birds.